Hello guys, welcome to YouTube channel for Mania. So in today's video, we are doing the battery charging speed test of the Mi 11X. And guys, this is the 8GB, 128GB variant of the Mi 11X in celestial silver. You could see it's really a glossy finish. That means it's a sort of rainbow colors, almost resembles the Galaxy Note Plus overall glow color. You could see a rainbow finish and it's so nice to see it. You could see. And it's also having a color called Cosmic Black, which I had previously. But the main issue of the Cosmic Black is it's sort of fingerprint magnet. You could easily get fingerprints but on this guy it's a sort of matte finish so there is no issues of uh, fingerprints and all you could see you could uh, use even without a case on this guy because it's not a sort of fingerprint magnet you could see no issues and uh, the cosmic black is sort of fingerprint magnet so it's up basically upon you guys if you love black then directly go for the cosmic black else this would be a fine color it's a sort of uh, wow I could do this to up to five minutes in the entire video so i'm just giving it right now guys so let's get uh in detail so this is the mi 11x guys and you could see the display so the display over here is the 6.67 inch super amoled 120 hertz of refresh rate display as you guys can see on the display you could see so the refresh rate is uh, the 120 hertz refresh rate and along with you could see there are some improvements in terms of AI engine that means you could get two options like AI HDR enhancement which could uh, upgrade your normal videos content that means SDR standard definition content uh, to the HDR that means the high definition and uh, apart from that you could also get in MEMC motion estimation motion compensation means uh, it could add some few more frames to feel the videos much more smooth that's the advantage in terms of uh, uh, the display and the menu so it's really nice in terms of nice display over here guys and the next thing would be the main camera so the, it is having a 40 mp camera but the main issue of this camera is in video resolution guys because it is not a proper OIS camera it's just an EIS camera so if you are a sort of heavy vlogger and all that would be perfect for you guys if you run that means a bit fast uh, working and if you are running a bit then it won't get some stable shots and all but actually in future with the help of some software updates and it could fix that but actually at the current moment in terms of video solution I won't give a uh, thumbs up for this guy but uh, apart from that that means the cameras micro camera and apart from that everything is perfectly fine and you could get uh, the, some microphones to get audio zoom feature as you could see on the previously what's on the Galaxy Note Plus and all so it's really nice and apart from that you are getting a dedicated tele macro camera that's also really nice and apart from that you are getting an 8 MP ultra wide camera which is capable of 119 degree field of view which is an aperture of f2.2 and the main camera is of aperture f1.8 and if you come to the front there is a really small punch hole camera you could see it's really small guys it's not even interfering that means that one of the smallest punch hole camera I have ever seen I would say that that much really small camera but it's housing a 20 MP front camera which is an f2.5 actually it's a decent camera no need of any complaints in this camera so in terms of uh, video that means the video solution I would uh, give a thumbs down because it doesn't have a proper OS apart from that I really like the qualities and all and actually a um, few more suggestions is that the 8 MP ultra wide is nice but if it will lose some detail uh, that means sort of uh, at a glance it would uh, look almost perfect but if you zoom in a bit or actually if you zoom in a bit it will lose in detail because it's just having an 8 MP camera and in terms of processor it's just doing fine guys that means the snapdragon 870 this mass uh, massive performance beast over here and in terms of gaming actually in terms of pubg gaming actually i have uh, been playing pubg for about uh, one week or even more actually I didn't face some huge issues like uh, a battery drain or uh, some heavy heating and all but actually uh, sometimes if you play actually i had done a dedicated video but actually i didn't feel a sort of uh, that means brightness dimming issue but if you play more than one hour that means about 1.5 an hour one more than one i would say sometimes in between one and a half hour they, you could see there is a dim in terms of brightness and actually i didn't uh, see any major frame drops and all but in some areas it would be i most of the time it was around 55 to 61 and 50 55 to 60 in between that's all sort of a nice in terms of call of duty and pubg mobile i didn't play any other games i am sort of a call of duty and pubg mobile itself and uh, that's in terms of the performance so it's a nice ufs 3.1 lpddr5 so that's a really nice and in terms of the processor and uh, this is the snapdragon 870 which is a clocked up version of the snapdragon 865 plus and uh, the one of the main thing i need to tell about this is uh, having great motor that means x-axis linear motor so that means you are getting 
a full and haptic vibration on all everything if you go back from one app to another you could see if you go back over here and if you directly go to the home everything have a dedicated uh, feedback in terms of uh, the haptic engine so the haptic engine over here is really nice guys and guys the main thing is you could even set the haptic feedback level you could see it is very low right now you could get minor and you could go all the way up to max which i would uh, probably keep it on the minimum that means an uh, intermediate level so that i could give a nice effect and all that means the haptic i really like actually it almost uh, resembles a haptic of the premium smartphone like the oneplus 9 pro uh, the galaxy is not up to that mark but still in terms of 32k that's really a haptic nice and nice a haptic motor over here and in terms of uh, uh, 5g bands which have uh, n77 and n78 which have the x55 modem over here and the bluetooth version is 5.1 and wi-fi 6 is supported and it have a battery backup of 4520 so guys that's the thing which you have now concentrated on so we are now going to test the battery charging speed test you could see the, currently the battery is at just three percentage so i will drain up to one percentage so it would be charging from one percentage all the way up to 100 percent with this brick that means the 33 watt charger over here and the company uh is uh, providing itself in the box so that's a nice thing even if we have the flagships don't doing that uh, like the apple and the samsung is not doing with the flagships but still glad that the mi is keeping within the box itself so that's really nice apart from that this device is really awesome and uh, one more thing is there guys i would show you right now in terms of display so guys in terms of display i have already mentioned the 120 hertz refresh rate is so smooth you could see and in terms of display i, I am seeing some uh, really interesting features guys and apart from that i would say the color scheme you could set to the maximum that means the saturated to get the maximum immersive the dynamic maximum punchy colors at all and the next the main thing is in terms of if you're playing a video so let's see so you could see the video so it's a 10804 pixels and the PP is 395 PPI and the protection over here is uh, the coding Gorilla Glass 5 protection over here. So in the coding Gorilla Glass 5 protection apart from that it is HDR10 plus certified 120Hz of refresh rate and go all the way up to 1300 nits peak brightness. So everything is perfect guys and you could see a video toolbox like a feature over here you could tab over here and you could see that there are some style picture sound and if you press the style you could see you can enable many types of effects so this is the original and then let me switch the vibrant and you could see the colors are changing and now switch me hdr Whoa, really dynamic guys and it um, changes the nostalgic and black and white warm uh, cool you could see orange wow metal fade and then a robot blush so guys uh, by default the app is providing so much features and the video toolbox feature and now in picture mode we are also getting some uh, enhanced co counters over here also let me turn it on you could see a little more uh, i would say mm, more vibrance or in the colors and uh, along with that one more feature enhanced animation let's see it improves the video in the perfect ways. It's also having NVMC to uh, enhance uh, the frame rates by adding extra frames with the help of AI and all. And then again in terms of sound. And I need to say guys, the sound quality of this is really awesome. And actually, I'll just switch the volume to the max. See. And one more thing is here guys so this uh, in terms of sound you could uh, set the quality clarity volume so you could everything this is sort of heavy i've never seen such a customization in terms of video toolbox this is a really nice feature guys and uh, there need to be taken times too much time is features and included in this guy so i really like this one and uh, you could go all the it's really nice so i'm setting it to the vibrant so i really like the vibrant effect so you could see okay guys that's all and now let's move out to our theme so now the battery is at three percentage guys so i'm charging from the one let it be down to one percent so from one to all the way up to 100 percentage so guys let's move to the battery charging speed test with this 33 watt charger so guys let's go 
so you guys can see this time is 420 and the battery is at one percentage and uh, you could see over here and let me open the timer over here this timer would begin so it's 421 and i will start the timer and uh, in three two one and go so it's charger and my turbo charger it's charging wow so seven seconds you could see the charging logo over here so guys let's come back after five minutes so guys it's almost for uh, 26 that means the five minutes mark let's see how much does it charge so guys you could see it charges 12 percentage in near five minutes okay 12 percentage in five minutes guys so guys it's reaching the time limit of 10 minutes uh, let's check the battery percentage and you could see i would i was expecting around 24 percentage let's check yes 22 percentage in 10 minutes and uh, that's it so guys now we are on the 15 minutes mark and let's check and i'm out expecting around 35 percentage and let's see oh it's 32 percentage guys still nice so it's 436 that means 15 minutes 32 percentage so let's move on so guys we are now at the 20 minute mark and let's see and i would expect around 45 percentage let's see it is 44 guys oh close so it's uh, been two minutes more so that means 22 minutes so let's wait for the 30 minutes so guys it's reaching the 30 minutes mark so let's check how much does it charge in 30 minutes and you guys i was expecting around 55 oh 56 percentage in exact 30 minutes and let's check the timer over here actually in background the timer is working and you could see it's just 30 minutes and the battery percentage is 56 in 30 percent 30 minutes and let's log again so finally guys we are in the 45 minutes mark and let's see how much percentage does it charge guys okay over here and i would expect around 80 and it's uh, 77 percentage and now it's 78 percentage guys you could see 78 percentage in 45 minutes exact time okay let's check for and you could let's open me the timer and you could see it's 45 minutes and uh, it's 78 Eight guys so actually guys i'm not super excited because actually i have been using the iq7 legend and that was a really monster brick charges about uh, in just five minutes it charges 30 percentage so i'm not super excited about this guy but still it's uh, meant to be good one because in 46 minutes it's charged 78 and let's move and wait until 100 percentage so it's a one to 100 percentage so guys let's check it out so guys finally the 50 minutes mark and now let's check the battery percentage i would expect around 90 and uh, this is 84 percentage guys so you would see 84 and let's wait for the 100 percentage so in 50 minutes it is done 85 now it's 85 you could see 50 minutes 85 percentage and let's move so guys now the mi Ronex is in it 55 minutes mark and now let's check the battery percentage and i would expect around 90 yes it's perfectly on its mark guys 90 percentage in 55 minutes so just five more minutes to get one hour let's uh, check the one hour mark so guys in the one hour mark i would expect around 97 percentage so let's check it on the one hour mark guys in the one hour mark and it's done guys and 96 percentage in the one hour mark you could see and uh, let's wait for the final 100 percentage and let's see how much time will it take i think it would be around uh, done in one hour and five minutes and let's check it out so guys uh, let's see the battery percentages you could see it is on 99 and let's open the timer and let's check the exact time so let's go 99 and uh, it's approaching the 100 
so guys yes guys it's done the hundred percentage in five minutes so sorry in the 529 that means so that means guys it's one hour and eight minutes it's how exactly done the hundred percentage okay really nice so guys that's the battery charging speed as of the MI electronics so it take about one or eight minutes uh, to charge from phone the one to hundred percentage so that's all regarding the battery charging speed test of the MI electronics that's all guys thank you